Alterations in Reproduction, Sexually Transmitted Infections. Sexually transmitted infections are spread through sexual activity with an infected person. This is a significant health problem. HIV, chlamydia, gonorrhea, hepatitis B, syphilis, and cancroid have to be reported to the CDC. Now, the human papillomavirus is the most common STI, but it is not necessary to report it to the CDC. There are three diseases, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, that can easily be cured with early and adequate treatment. We find that social, sexual, and biologic factors contribute to high incidence. And part of the reason why there is a high incidence is people have ignorance of the transmission or means to prevent STIs. People are asymptomatic. There's a lot of people that indulge in casual sex. They indulge in sex with high-risk partners or multiple partners. There's a failure to seek treatment and a non-adherence to treatment and we have a mutation of organisms. Epidemiology is the study of the occurrence, distribution, and causes of human diseases. Now, the role of the CDC is to gather statistics, but it really is difficult to obtain exact numbers as not everyone seeks treatment or some of these diseases are misdiagnosed. They look at the reportable diseases, but they don't look at the diseases that are not reportable by law, such as genital herpes, hepatitis B and venereal warts, etc. Women are known to contract STIs more often than men, and sometimes it has to do with environmental conditions and trauma. Statistically, the reported incidence of STIs is disproportionately higher in racial and ethnic minorities. This disparity can be the result of limited access to health care, poverty, an actual higher rate of disease occurrence, or more reporting by the public health clinics where many of these respective populations seek treatment. Client teaching for those that are being treated for and or being treated uh, should include, and this also helps with prevention, abstinence during treatment, the use of male condoms with a spermicide, the partner or partners of an infected person also have to be treated. Clients should be encouraged to urinate and wash genitals in the perineum following intercourse. And clients should also wash their hands and any areas that are in contact with semen or vaginal mucus. So true or false, three STIs are easily cured if they're caught early and treatment is completed as prescribed. This is true. Chlamydia is the most common reportable STI. It's spread, of course, by sexual intercourse, genital contact without penetration, and transmission to the infant during birth, in addition to auto uh, inoculation. And this is where the client actually touches infected secretions and then transmits them um, without washing hands, etc. These clients will have a sparse, clear urethral discharge, redness and irritation of the infected tissue, burning on urination. With women, they have lower abdominal pain, while men may experience testicular pain. We diagnose through microscopic examination, secretion cultures, concurrent infections, and treat with antimicrobial drugs. Gonorrhea is the second most frequently reportable STI in the United States. It also facilitates HIV transmission. These clients may have a skin rash, fever, and painful joints. Men may also experience urethritis with purulent discharge and dysuria, 
Well, many women may be asymptomatic. However, they may experience a white or yellow vaginal discharge and intermenstrual bleeding along with dysuria. Gonorrhea can be transmitted to an infant's eyes during birth and can cause blindness if the infant is not treated. We diagnose gonorrhea with microscopic or culture tests and we treat with antibiotics. However, there are some complicated gonococcal infections that may require hospitalization and IV multi, uh, multiple drug therapy in addition to repeat antibiotic therapy. Treatment has changed to a single IM injection of an antibiotic in uncomplicated cases because of the lack of compliance with treatment regimens. Nurses should be encouraged to pass on that when gonorrhea is suspected in women, the speculum should be lubricated with water because that lubricant can cause inaccurate test results. True or false, gonorrhea is easily and quickly cured. This is false. It can be easily treated if it's caught early, but treatment has to be done just right. Syphilis can occur in three distinct stages. We have primary, secondary, and tertiary. The client will only be infectious during the primary and secondary stages. People can catch syphilis from transmission of blood of the infected person directly from a lesion and it can also cross the placental barrier. And that is in addition to sexual contact. These clients with primary syphilis may experience genital, anal, or cervical cankers, which are those painless ulcers. Secondary may experience fever, malaise, rash, headache, sore throat and lymph node enlargement. While with the tertiary stage, the tabes dorsalis, which is a degenerative condition of the CNS may occur, along with ataxia, which is impaired balance or coordination. We may also see Charcot's joints, which is a neuropathic joint disease and cardiovascular complications. We diagnose through a microscopic examination of the canker, we can do a VDRL test, RPR, FTA, ABS test, or cerebrospinal fluid examination if indicated. We treat it with antibiotic therapy and it may just require a single dose of penicillin GIM if it's primary or tertiary, or maybe tetracycline or doxycycline. Follow-up examinations and lab tests should also be done to make sure that the client has effectively eradicated the disease. Herpes infections are controllable, but not curable. The herpes simplex virus 2 is generally considered to be the genital uh, disease and we see perineal lesions. However, the herpes simplex virus 1 is usually above the waist, but in the cases of oral sex, anogenital lesions can occur. This virus is transmitted through direct or sexual contact, and people can also auto-inoculate themselves. So it's always important to make certain that they use a clean, separate towel on the areas where there's lesions. After the initial infection, the virus will remain dormant in the body until it's reactivated. And the virus can be shed with an active virus or when the client is asymptomatic. These clients have vesicles located on the penis, the foreskin, buttocks, thighs, the introitus, cervix. They may have lesions or ulcers, swelling of the inguinal lymph nodes, flu-like symptoms, or a headache. Again, we diagnose with microscopic examination. 
and this is a self-limiting infection. An antiviral drug therapy can shorten the duration of an outbreak and decrease the risk of transmission. However, that virus can still be transmitted even when people are on the drugs. Again, nurses should encourage clients to keep the lesions dry, to wear loose clothing, and may need to enroll in stress management because stress has been known to cause um, a reactivation of the virus. Genital warts come from the human papillomavirus or HPV virus. It's most commonly transmitted sexually. Uh, it is the most common sexually transmitted infection. It can be transmitted genital to genital, genital to anal, or genital to oral contact in addition to autoenucleation once again. It can be transmitted to an infant's respiratory tract during delivery and can cause uterine cervical abnormalities. Many uh, infections of the HPV virus mutations, and there's like 40 of them, uh, might clear up, but some persistent infections can lead to cancer. These clients may experience painless uh, growth. They appear as soft as a cluster, as a cluster of soft, fleshy growths on the genitalia or cervix, in the vagina or on the perineum, anus, throat, or mouth, or penis. Some of the treatment may require application of a diluted vinegar that will turn the lesions white and then uh, will be visually inspected. For treatment uh, with a limited infection, it may require topical medications or topical chemical applications. It may also, with a substantial infection, require a surgical excision, laser therapy, electrocautery, or cryosurgery. Uh, in addition to a parenteral administration of a natural or recombinant interferon. And nurses should encourage the HPV vaccine to help prevent uh, the HPV virus from causing cancer. So true or false, if vinegar is applied to lesions suspected of being caused by HPV, they will turn white. And that answer is true. So other sexually transmitted infections include the Zika virus. We know that it's usually transmitted by mosquitoes, but it can also be transmitted through sexual intimacy. This virus can cause microcephaly in newborns of infected mothers. And this is where the newborn's head is much, much too small. Uh, the other infection we'll talk about is the cancroid infection, which is characterized by a macule or a vesicle pustule formation, and it results in a painful genital ulcer. They may also be enlarged or tender inguinal lymph nodes. And we treat this one with antimicrobials as well.